Jason Rezaian is a global opinions writer for The Washington Post. He previously served as the Post's correspondent in Tehran, and he was unjustly imprisoned by Iran for more than a year until his release in 2016. And now he's written his opinion piece for the newspaper, and it says this. I'm Team USA, but it's more important that Iran advances in the World Cup. Jason, thanks so much for joining us. Obviously, a thought-provoking uh, column there, and you wanted it to be that way. I, I mean, this must be not just what you're thinking, but what you're feeling at this point. Why? Well, Paula, first of all, U.S. and Iran have not played in the World Cup since 1998. That was the only other time they've faced off in this competition. And for me, throughout my entire life, uh, when the U.S. and Iran would compete, you know, I'm first and foremost an American. I root for, for America. But this time around, with everything that's happening inside Iran, the ongoing protests now in their third month, the number of people who've been killed by the regime, the arrests and detentions of thousands of protesters, uh, and, and this is all happening at a time when there's so many other things going on in the world, uh, I, I think it's an important moment for people to keep eyes on, on what's going on uh, inside Iran and, and uh, a spot like, like the one that the World Cup shines uh, is, is hard to beat. I don't want to put too strong a point of it, but do you think that that could change the course of history? And I don't mean on the soccer or football pitch. Well, look, I mean, I think we're watching history play out inside Iran. Uh, and whether or not people around the world know about that is an indication of just the, 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 the number of, of different things that are grabbing for our attention. Uh, you, you might have seen uh, during one of the games earlier t uh, on, on Monday uh, that uh, someone ran onto the field wearing a T-shirt saying, Save Ukraine, and uh, on the back, Respect Iranian Women. And, you know, this is a, is a site that literally billions of eyes will witness. Uh, and so, uh, you know, as history is being made in that country, as we talk about these games, invariably the geopolitics come into it, and, and I think it's, it's just a, a really important platform. You, you know, uh, we're talking a, a lot about the provocative move uh, on the part of the U.S. team, and, and yet many are now pointing out that what the Iranian team members did was incredibly courageous by, by not uh, singing the anthem uh, on, uh, during that first game. And, and I found that the coach himself, speaking as a European and not as an Iranian, obviously not as much a stake for him, he, he basically said it bluntly to everyone, you cannot imagine what these young men are, are going through. What are they going through, Jason? You know better than most. Well, it's massive pressure. You know, they are the representatives of their, their country, of their fellow uh, Iranians. At the same time, uh, their paymasters are a regime that's brutal and ruthless and that exerts a lot of pressure on them. Uh, and, and your reporting uh, here at CNN has indicated that, that Iranian security agents uh, have put even more pressure on these, these players to fall in line, not publicly support protesters, but just by virtue of standing up and, and not singing the anthem, or in a press conference talking about their support for the grieving uh, Iranians who've lost loved ones in, this pro in these protests, talking about how they're standing with them, it's incredibly powerful. It may seem subtle to us in the outside world uh, who, who live in freedom, uh, but for uh, Iranian standards uh, over the last 43 years, it's a big deal. What do you expect to see on the pitch between the players? And, and I, I, don't, I don't want to ask you your opinion on football. I mean kind of the way um, they will treat each other and what will ultimately happen during the match. Ultimately, I hope that it's similar to what happened in 1998 which was a great show of uh, sportsmanship, uh, friendship. Uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, they're going to be on the field battling it out uh, as competitors, but I, I hope in a, in a fair and friendly way, and I expect uh, as, as an American of Iranian heritage uh, and knowing these two countries really well and the people of these two countries really well, I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, Jason, I can't thank you enough, not just for your informed perspective, but a very personal one as well. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Paula.